Welcome back. So the World Health Organization declared monkeypox a global health emergency. The viral disease spreading across more than 70 countries, including right here in the U.S., where two children now have it in California. Uh, Ohio Congressman Brad Winstrom sits on the GOP Doctors Caucus and joins us now. Uh, Congressman, we, we have it right behind us right here just to show the audience a quick picture of what, what you'll see here. I, I guess the big question is, should Americans be concerned since this has been declared a global crisis? Well, I think any health issue, we should take some concern, but we got to keep things in perspective. Uh, one of the things that I'm concerned about is wondering if we learned any lessons from COVID because are we prepared for this? Uh, are we ready to go? Right now in America, what's been reported is 2,400 new cases. That's three times in the last three weeks. And are we prepared as far as testing and treatments? Both are very limited. And so that's a concern because when you are limited in those regards, then the chance of increased spread is greater, as well as education uh, that people need to understand what this is about. This has been around for over 40 years, but it's primarily been in parts of Africa. But we need to be honest with the American people. And right now there's not a lot of trust coming out of the government when the, when the government speaks on these issues. Yeah. So I appreciate the opportunity today. What we're seeing is just about a three to 6% fatality. And again, that's usually in people that have underlying medical conditions. Yeah. It can be spread from animal or person, but predominantly person. And it comes from close contact with the lesions that develop on the skin. But also <clears throat> more importantly is to understand it can come from bodily fluids and to a lesser degree, but some degree, large droplets, respiratory droplets, almost mm -hmm. like spit. There yeah. is an antiviral that's been used for smallpox that's been approved. It has, has some efficacy. Yeah. And there is a two-shot vaccine that is available, yeah. but it's not readily available. And so it should go to high-risk communities. So this is where we have to be honest. Although anyone can get this, this monkeypox, it is right now seeming to be more prevalent in the communities where the risk is greater amongst gay men. Mm -hmm. And so let's be honest about that. And I know there's some debate in New York City of whether they even wanna say that, but when there's high risk out there, you should let people know who is at high risk. And if that's what we're seeing, that's what we should be sharing. Yeah, I guess with any type of pandemic, the vulnerable should know the risk uh, and I think they apply our medical officials when they do that. I want to switch gears with you. Uh, President Biden is expected to talk with President Xi this week as China warns the U.S. of forceful measures if Nancy Pelosi visits Taiwan. This is what they had to say. If Speaker Pelosi visits Taiwan, it would seriously violate the one China principle and harm China's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Is that a threat, Congressman? Well, it sounds like it. And, and who's controlling our foreign policy, China or us? You know, what I hope the president does, but I, I'm a little bit leery, is I want him to say we're going to be better in the United States. We're going to be stronger in the United States. And I hope we have a president that doesn't continue to blame things on others, but goes in and is bold. Indications of things that we could see from the president would be to increase our military spending smartly in a way that can counter China's aggression militarily. And uh, we're, we're not seeing that. His budget requests are always lower than the rest of Congress. And saying that Nancy Pelosi can't go to t Taiwan and then telling her not to go, that's, that's a problem. But look, I've seen from this administration, Lawrence, where some have said we shouldn't have taken out Soleimani, who's responsible for so many American deaths, because it might irritate the sure. Iranians. We have got to be the stronger force in all of this. Sure. And so we also need to discuss what the FBI and MI5 out of Great Britain came to America and said to everyone that the risk of doing business in China is, is intense. They steal our intellectual property. They sort of take and then turn over and send you out. Uh, our universities are, are infected, and they in China have learned a lot of lessons by what's going on in Ukraine. They are watching, and they are going to try and figure out how sanctions won't affect them, and they're going to wait for their time with Taiwan. Uh, and they're a risk because they can disrupt our supply chain. We are in a bad well, yeah, situation. So, yeah, we got to empower uh, our, our military, and we also have to consider our national defense in all of this. And I think that's being lost in the conversation. Congressman, anyway, thanks for being on the forefront of this. So, coming.